Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a technician at Dove Lewis and I want to talk to you today about warm and cold compressing. If you're watching this video, you may have instructions um, to either warm or cold compress your pet at home. And there's multiple reasons we do this, but um, both of them bring comfort to the pet. So when I think about cold compressing, often um, that brings comfort by helping with swelling or inflammation. So inflammation of a joint, or maybe they had surgery um, that caused some inflammation, but we can do a cold compress that will help bring that swelling down and decrease any pain that's associated with the swelling. So one thing that when I cold compress, I like my ice packs to be um, kind of slushy. So you can either buy them store-bought slushy or you can make them. This one here, I made with um, a one-to-one -one ratio of uh, dish soap and water. And you can see it stayed really, really soft and um, can kind of form around the area that you want to ice. Um, when you do cold compressing, it can be too cold and be, can be a little bit uncomfortable. So I always recommend using like a thin, using a thin rag um, and then the cold compress on top of that. Um, generally speaking, you want to do this about five to 10 minutes, three times daily, but your doctor may have more specific instructions for how, the frequency that you're supposed to be doing this at home. Um, while they may tolerate a little bit longer, we want to make sure that they don't get too cold or they're not uncomfortable. Um, the other therapy that may be recommended is warm compressing. And warm compressing will improve circulation to an area. And when you improve circulation, that can improve healing. It also can help promote drainage. So if we're talking about a pet that has something like an infection and we want all that infected fluid to come out, we can use warm compressing to kind of thin out those fluids and help that drain. So warm compressing, what I like to do is I like to take a um, scrap piece of um, toweling or a washcloth, get that wet put that in a baggie and microwave it. Um, I only microwave this for 30 seconds and it's quite warm to the touch. So just keep in mind that microwaves can heat things to kind of variety of temperatures and they may not be consistently heated throughout. So make sure you're really careful about testing this. Um, just like you would a baby's bottle, I like to test it on like a really sensitive part of my skin. Um, this feels nice and comfortable um, to me, but I'm still going to use a little, um, little rag here as a barrier. Um, so this patient here, uh, we're just going to warm compress him um, on his front leg. Okay, so he has just some swelling here and I'm gonna lay this rag down. Okay. And I'm gonna gently put this on top. And just like ice packing, I think typically five to 10 minutes, three times daily is a really good rule of thumb. Um, but your discharge instructions may have more specific um, recommendations based on your pet's needs. So that is how you can do a warm or a cool compress at home.